So we just passed 500 subs, and once again, I just want to say thank you all for the support. Go ahead and leave a comment below of whatever your favorite game is you've played recently, and I'll pick a random person next week and I'll send you something in the mail. Uh, with that being said, thank you again and let's start the video. Alright, so here's the Salvation Army that we're going to check out this week. And this is like a beef jerky display thing that you would sell out of if you owned a store. I just thought it was weird, so I'd show it. This light made me do a double take. I really thought it was something from Breaking Bad. I mean, maybe it is. I have no idea, but it's pretty cool. This speak out, I mean, I get being hard up for money, but damn, the picture of that lady, she must have really needed some cash. Uh, here's some games. These are just some 10-footers. I had most of these uh, that were good. Otherwise, they were just kind of sports games that I wasn't looking to pick up anyway. And then here's the glass case where there's some better games. A lot of these actually didn't have the disc in there, but there's a couple games here that I was looking for. There's a Genesis. It was 40 bucks with the games. Um, I don't even know what the good price for a Genesis is these days anyway. But there was that Robotech game that I've been looking for, and uh, there's some Dreamcast stuff there. Not too bad. I saw this copy of Paranorman. Does anyone know anything about this? It looks pretty cool. I'd like to check it out if it's a pretty decent movie. And here's the stuff I ended up picking up, this Robotech Battle Cry. I liked the Game Boy Advance version a lot, and I know this isn't anything like that. But for $1.99 complete, um, it was the price I was willing to pay for it. A Boy in His Blob is one of my favorite games from the Wii. I almost beat this game. And it's actually made by WayForward. It's just, it looks beautiful. It plays great. If you don't have this game, go find it. You'll love it. And then had a get copy of Get Him to the Greek for a dollar. The soundtrack of this movie is just so good. It's one of those kind of like Spinal Tap things where it's a made-up band, but they actually record a whole album with it. It's, it's awesome. I don't know if people know this, but libraries actually rent out video games. And when they're done with movies and books and DVDs and CDs and stuff, they'll actually sell them in their bookstore. And they'll also sell their donations there. Some lady donated some PS2 games, so she didn't need them anymore. My girlfriend's actually a librarian, so she grabbed them for me. These are the three that I picked up. Jack 3. All these were complete, and they were in just really nice shape overall. Uh, I also got uh, Spyro A New Beginning, which I didn't have. I've been looking forward to playing that one. And then probably the one I wanted the most was this Harvest Moon Save the Homeland. This is one of the few Harvest Moons I haven't played. It's such a great series, and they asked me just for a $5 donation for these three games. Alright, so once again, we're going to hit the savers by my work during my lunch break. This is a Gears of War Erector set. Now, I don't know too much about what Erector is doing these days, but this is a company that really sh should be doing exactly what Lego's doing, where they're just getting licensing for everything. It looks like that's what they're doing here. I don't know how big they went with that, but that's really a good idea for the company. Here's a bin of just trash. I just wanted to show everyone this. I don't know, just a bunch of Guitar Heroes and junk thrown in a bin. Here's a brand new sealed third-party multiplayer adapter for the PS1. Four bucks is not a bad deal. Here is a magenta third party, a nunchuck for the Wii. I just don't need it anymore, but it's three bucks. Here's a NASCAR branded steering wheel. This was $5. I was surprised that they didn't try to price the pedals uh, individually. It's for the PC and in overall pretty nice shape. And then here was the thing I ended up picking up. It's this N64 lot here for 30 bucks. I had 20% off, so it came down to 24. If you notice there, there's a memory card and then this black controller, which is kind of the third party redesign, which I've been looking for. And I know someone who's actually looking for the console, so I figured we could both benefit from this. So the unit did come with an RF switch instead of like the AV cables. I mean, here's the power supply. This is what everything looks like after it's all cleaned up. And it cleaned up pretty well. And because I had that RF switch and I couldn't see anything, I thought there was going to be a jumper pack in here. But I really couldn't believe it. There was actually an expansion pack in here. There's the cover. There's the memory card. Steve's WWF No Mercy. There's the expansion pack. That's the controller that I was talking about, like the third-party redesign that I was looking for, and it just came with a regular gray controller. So for 24 bucks, that actually turned out to be a really nice score. And here's what the day was like on my latest trip to the flea market. Not nearly the best, but not the worst either. There's still people out and about, so that's good. You can see there's definitely puddles of water everywhere, but again, it's not raining right now, so there's still some things to be found here. And the hot dog guy's here too, and I swear one of these times, I'm going to get one of these hot dogs. This is the 50 cent bin that a guy has. There's Dead Rising 2. This is where I found that complete copy of L.A. Noir. And the problem with this stuff in here is it isn't very good to begin with, and now it's just all waterlogged, so it's even worse. But I'd pay the guy 50 cents to just not have anything from this bin. Disconnect Adventures, which is worthless. And then I think there's a copy of, what is this, Brothers in Arms? Yeah. I should have picked up this copy of Kill Em All, though. This is a really great album, even though I do like Megadeth more than Metallica. And then I should have picked up this copy of Doom. I don't know why I didn't. 
Here is a Dreamcast. The guy wanted seven bucks for it. There was no controllers, but it did have the hookups and it looked pretty clean. There's actually a copy of Sega GT in there. And yeah, believe it or not, that is a Dreamcast. I'm sorry for the awful footage. But like I said, he wanted seven bucks, so I was going to take my chances with it. This guy wanted a dollar for everything on the table. There's a Mighty Max there. Didn't have any of the pieces, so I ended up leaving it behind. That baseball right there is actually a Tony the Tiger baseball. It's actually pretty cool, but still I left it behind. Here's uh, some complete copies, the extended versions of Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, and the Two Towers. They were $2.50 a piece. I didn't pick them up, but maybe I should have. I don't know. Here's just some 10-footers that this lady had. A lot of sports games. I mean, even a lot of Xbox One games that are just, you know, worthless at this point. Oh, there's Black Ops. There is Elder Scrolls Online. Here's Call of Duty. Uh, what else we got here? There's a copy of Guitar Hero. Condemned 2, if you like, uh, you know, suspense games and horror games, get that if you don't have it. Here's a WWF game. Guitar Hero. Tour. I don't know, just junk. And here's the inside, and I mean, obviously it's dead, but this lady did have some games out today. There's Saints Row 4, that game, that disc was completely wrecked. There's a Sonic Genesis collection on the PS3. Silent Scope 3, I wanted to pick that up, but it was wrecked. But I am going to grab this copy of uh, Sonic Genesis collection. I love that there's video games in here. I don't re recommend eating any of that candy. But on one side there's Smash TV, and here is the Street Fighter the movie game. You can see that there are some people out and about, so there's some commerce going on here. This lady had this rack of movies and games, and everyone on here was $2. There's Saints Row down there, there's Dishonored. There's some pretty good stuff in here. I found this copy of Civilization Revolution, which I didn't have. This is the person who I bought the uh, Wii Sports and NHL 97 from before. And they have some pretty nice stuff here, Fable, Jaws Unleashed, but the price is a little too high, and they don't really want to haggle over here, so... And this is the stuff I ended up picking up. So I got Civilization Revolution. It's complete and in really nice shape for two bucks. Then I got this Sonic's Ultimate Genesis collection. This was a library rental at one point. It doesn't have a manual. I don't know if it came with one, but that game is great. $2 is a steal for the amount of Genesis games on there. And here's the Dreamcast. It cleaned up pretty nicely. It plays great. It's just loud. And I remember Dreamcast being loud. I don't know if they were always this loud, but it plays great and everything. There's the audio video cables and the power cables. And then here is the copy of Sega GT that it came with. This game is a little too complicated for its own good. So those are my finds from the flea market last week. What did you guys find? What are you playing? What are you reading? What are you listening to? Thank you for watching, and as always, stay nerdy. Getting your nerd on. Getting your nerd on. Getting your nerd on. I got a raging nerd on.